Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna to be trying some new products from Camille Rose, so if you would like to see that, then just keep watching. So before we get started, if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. So let's get right into the video. If you guys are following the brand Camille Rose on social media or in their email list, you know that they recently released some new products as part of their Black Friday sale. And I grabbed a couple of the stylers from this line. The new line is made to go along with their one of their staples that they had in their collection, which is the Honey Hydrate. Um, so this is a new line of products that have honey-based ingredients. Um, to go along with this and so they had I believe they had a deep conditioner a refresher spray uh, Maybe one other product and then these two stylers that I picked up. I only picked up the stylers um, and Partially because the deep conditioner which was the other product I wanted was sold out already by the time I got to the sale But also because I kind of just wanted to try out the stylers and see how they did So I picked up the honeycomb curl whip texture defining super cream as well as the Spiked Honey Mousse 4-in-1 Styler. And so these are the two stylers that were in the collection. Um, I picked those both up. They are both eight fluid ounces. So I have already done the back two sections of my hair, as you can see, but I'm gonna be doing a wash and go with these products. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with you guys on camera and talk to you a little bit about these new products. To start off with my base, um, I washed my hair with the kinky curly come clean shampoo and then I deep conditioned with my Mish warm sugar cookie limited edition deep conditioner. I've already applied the honey hydrate and so this came out um, I believe a couple years ago. This is part of their leave-in collection. They came out with three kind of leave-in products that were part of this collection all in these cute little bottles. Um, one of them was this the honey hydrate. They also had the latte define I think it was called and then the I forget what it was called, what the name of it was, but it was like an herbal oil, herbal tea or something like that oil. Um, so those three were all part of one collection. Um, but based on the advertising that they did for this new collection, it looks like they kind of built those around this honey hydrate to work with this product. So I figured it was appropriate since I already had this to go ahead and use this as my leave-in today. So this is what I used in my hair. I've used this leave-in a couple times. It's a little finicky. Um, sometimes it feels like it just tangles in my hair depending on what deep conditioner I had just used and how moisturized my hair is. If my hair is not super moisturized, this leave-in does not work well for me. Um, it does kind of tangle and web my hair a little bit if it's not super moisturized. So that's the reason why I use the Warm Sugar Cookie leave, uh, Deep Conditioner from Mish because it is a really moisturizing deep conditioner. But this leave-in I've used a few times. I do like it. I've used it with the curl maker from Camille Rose. It was okay. Um, it does give you good, um, decent hydration. Um, it is honey based, so it's kind of sticky when you first apply it, but it does kind of melt into your hair eventually. Um, I applied this on soaking wet hair and then put a shower cap on my head and let it soak in for probably like an hour or so. And so that really helped it kind of smooth through my hair because usually it just I don't know something about the texture it gets sticky and like tangly in my hair so usually that's what I have to do to make it work for me but I like the product it smells really good it doesn't smell like honey really it smells like I mean it has a hint of honey but it smells like something else sweet some kind of dessert like fragrance um and it does have honey it's got castor oil aloe leaf juice olive oil um sugar cane sugar maple that's what with sweetness <laughs> probably scent comes from um caramel um lemon fruit and sweet orange fruit um so this is a really good leave-in i definitely like it so that is already applied to my hair what i did in the back sections and what i'm going to do on camera in the front is i went in first with the honeycomb curl whip um, texture defining super cream and so this says um it's a defining super cream infused with honey and nettle crafted to boost shine, eliminate frizz, and hold styles in place. So this claims to have hold. Um, so I think from how they sort of marketed it, I think you could use it on its own, maybe for a twist out or braid out. 
um, things like that. And even says on the back, on, on the instructions, it says, section hair and apply generously on freshly washed and conditioned strands, may be used to moisturize and set braids, twists, and bantu knots. Um, so it doesn't specifically say that you can use it for a wash and go, but I think that's mainly because you can't use it by itself for a wash and go. It doesn't quite have that much hold, um, but I am pairing it with the mousse, um, which is, is the Spiked Honey Mousse 4-in-1 Styler. It says this is a lightweight setting mousse infused with honey and nettle crafted to smooth strands, boost shine, and set styles. So I'm not sure what the 4-in-1 is. I don't know if it tells, it doesn't really say <laughs> what the 4-in-1 is, um, because just from that it says three things. It says it's going to smooth strands, boost shine, and set styles. I don't know what the fourth thing is. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it doesn't really say anywhere on here. On the instructions it says, apply a generous amount onto freshly washed and conditioned strands, style hair, and allow to fully dry before fluffing. So I'm gonna be using these two together. Um, so far, I have applied it on the back sections and I'm liking it so far. Um, I tried it off camera, partially to save on time and also to see if it would even work for a wash and go or if I would have to do like a twist out. Um, and it does seem to be working to define my curls and give me a little bit of hold. So I said I would go ahead and move forward with the wash and go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on these sections in the front. And my hair is still pretty soaking wet from um, the leave-in conditioner, but I do have a spray bottle just to make sure it's completely wet. So what I did with these back sections was I applied the super cream first. And so this is what the pump looks like. It is one of those kind of um, airless pumps. So what that means is there's like a pedestal in the bottom of the container that moves up as you pump it, just to make sure that all of your product gets used up instead of like having something to scrape at the bottom. Um, and you can tell that by the little hole that's at the bottom. Um, I learned that from Third Eye Angel, <laughs> so I was like, ooh, I learned something new. But yeah, she, I forget what product she was talking about, but she had mentioned that about a different product and how you can tell it's an airless pump. So that's pretty cool. It means you're going to get all of your product out of here. This is what it looks like. That's the texture of it. It's a pretty thick cream, um, but it spreads really nicely. It has a decent slip, so that's what the kind of texture of it is. Kind of sticky, but not like terribly sticky. Um, it is kind of reminiscent of Diva Curls. Um, is it Super Cream? Is that what it was called? Yeah, I think it was Super Cream. <laughs> um, it reminds me a little bit of that texture. It smells just like the uh, Honey Hydrate Leave-In. It has the exact same fragrance. And it just, it glides really easily into my hair. But you can see, this is what I mean about that Honey Hydrate. My ends, and partially probably because I need a trim, but my ends get really tangled with that leave-in. So I do have my Denman brush just to kind of smooth out the ends. Because that part gets a little rough. But the rest of my hair, it kind of just glides through. Yeah, it does have decent slip. Um, it feels pretty moisturizing. I don't think I'd be able to use it by itself. Like it definitely needs a leave-in underneath. Um, but it does feel like it has some moisture just not enough probably for my hair to use on its own. Um, so yeah, that's my hair with the cream applied. And so what I did with the back sections is I just went in kind of smaller sections and applied the mousse. And so here's the mousse. Um, I love the aesthetic of these. The packaging is super cute. The mousse, and this is more of a foam than a mousse pump it very well but yeah it's more of a foam but um I feel like brands use the words mousse and foam interchangeably even though they're not really the same thing <laughs> but um I think of a foam as like the kind that's like whipped and it kind of expands 
as you uh, put it into your hand. Um, this is more of a foam to me, but they can call it whatever they like. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just smoothing that into that section and kind of raking it. And it looks like I'm using a lot of product, but it does dry clear. I probably didn't need quite as much as I applied, but yeah, so that is what it's looking like with the mousse applied. It's definitely um, defining my curls, you can see. And it looks like it's gonna give me some hold, so. I'm gonna get a little bit on my roots here. This one, the mousse has a slightly different scent to it. Um, it's almost more like citrusy, I wanna say. It's definitely like, it's more fruity than sweet. The other one is more sweet scented. This one's definitely more fruity. I didn't need that much for that section. That's okay. Just spread it all out. Um, I don't often use a mousse for a wash and go. I've been trying combinations with mousse and gel for wash and goes. Um, just because I feel like mousses, mousse, mousses, mousse, mousse, whatever, <laughs> whatever the plural of mousse is, um, tend to have lighter weight hold and be um, just lighter products in general. Um, and my hair needs kind of heavier products to kind of weigh it down. So I don't often use a mousse for wash and go, but I think this combination of products, because I have this cream um, on top of that honey leave-in, I feel like it's enough that um, having a lightweight finisher uh, is enough for a wash and go. But yeah, lately I have been using a combination of a mousse and a gel, and I've been liking that for my wash and goes. I think it helps give me hold, but still have kind of that lightweight, fluffy feel. And I apologize if you hear my beagle sniffing in the background because <laughs> he is hunting something. I don't know what. <laughs> I am um, liking these products so far. Um, oh my gosh, grab that section by accident. We will see. I would be interested to try them for some other kind of style, like a twist out or maybe a rod set, because I think it would work well for that as well. But so far, it does seem promising. Yeah, this one smells exactly like the Honey Hydrate. Exactly the same. Which I like. I like the scent. It's a little sweet. It's a little, like, overbearing if you don't like strong, sweet fragrances. But I am a fan, so... Yeah, I could definitely see this cream being good for a twist out. It's a very nice weight. Like it's not too heavy, but it's moisturizing enough. But yeah, I'm having these, this issue with my ends. Seven. One of the things I like about using a mousse for a wash and go also is that it dries faster. So the back sections that I've already done off camera are already starting to dry, which is nice. Um, I am going to blow dry to set it all the way. But um, it's nice that it's, since it's a mousse, it'll hopefully dry a little bit quicker. I'm working kind of fast because it is the Beagle's dinner time. <laughs> it's 
past their dinner time, so they were both looking at me like, hello. <laughs> I'm trying to do this so that I can go feed them and let this dry and then come back before the season of season finale of uh, Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy comes on, because I'm not missing that. <laughs> oh, man. Who else watches Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy? Let me know in the comments. Because I have been a diehard Grey's Anatomy fan since the beginning. So, I definitely got to make sure I make it to my shows. <laughs> Yeah, I like how this is just like clumping my curls and defining very nicely. And I'm just going to take a little bit and just apply to this whole section just to clump it all together and finish it off. It's hard to tell if I'm using too much because um, with a foam, it just seems like a lot of product because it's foaming up, you know, but it does dry up. Um, that's one of the hard things about using a foam for a wash and go. So I purchased these during their $10 sale. So I'm not sure, um, how much the regular price is. I will double check and see if they're still, I know they sold out initially, but I don't know if they're still on the website for purchase. Um, but I will double check and put the price on the screen uh, but I believe they're you know typical Camille Rose prices which are usually like 14 15 um, curl maker is one of their most expensive products so that one's a little pricey but I think their other products tend to be decently priced I had no intentions of purchasing anything from Camille Rose for Black Friday <laughs> But when I saw what the new product was that they came out with, um, I was kind of excited because I did have the Honey Hydrate and I don't really have a lot that it pairs well with um, other than the Curl Maker. I feel like there aren't a whole lot of stylers that I can use with it because of the consistency of it. Um, it's just kind of a thicker leave-in and sticky so it doesn't really work well with a lot of my other gels. So I was excited to see that they came out with some stylers that go with that line as well as like a deep conditioner. But like I said, I didn't get there in time for the deep conditioner. So maybe if they restock that, I can try it. But I was happy to try this. One thing that stands out to me about this mousse is that it has really good slip. And I don't know if that's because it's on top of this cream. Um, but the cream itself doesn't stand out to me. Well, it has decent slip. I was going to say it doesn't stand out to me as having great slip. But it actually has pretty good slip. Um, both of these products do. But I feel like with a mousse, that's pretty rare to find one that has really good slip. Because the formulation just isn't slippery usually with a mousse but this one has really good slip and it's like clumping really nicely you can see that look at that girl <laughs> i love it now i don't know if this is going to be a part of their permanent line i don't remember if they said it was limited edition or if it was part of their it was a new launch of part of their new of their permanent line. I'll have to check that as well when I'm editing and let you guys know. But it would be great if they're part of the permanent line because then maybe I could try that deep conditioner. I almost feel like the super cream is supposed to be like kind of a dupe for the Diva Curl super cream. <laughs> Not only because of the name of it, but the packaging and the the way it's marketed it seems like it could be a dupe 
So I don't know how the ingredients compare, but as far as like application and use, seems like it could be similar to that product if you're looking for a replacement. All right, and that is that side done. And again, it looks crazy because there's a lot of white residue from the mousse, but as you can see from this underneath part, it dries clear. So not worried about that. I'm gonna put just a little bit more of the mousse kind of up top to kind of lay it down. All right, so this is my hair with all the product applied. I am already kind of seeing a little bit of what it's gonna look like when it's dry because the back is drying. Um, I'm a little concerned <laughs> with this section because there's some frizz. I might just add a little bit of water back here to try to like smooth it out and see if I can kind of set it and blow dry it before it dries like that. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of frizz back there, but otherwise it's looking pretty good. Um, there's a lot of definition. I have to be careful because um, normally yeah, I'll kind of like shake it around, move it a lot. But with a the mousse, there's really not enough hold to manipulate manipulate your hair um, a lot while it's wet. Most product styling products, you don't want to manipulate your hair while it's wet once you've set your style anyway um, until it's completely dry. Um, but with a mousse especially, it just doesn't have enough hold to withstand kind of moving and all of that. So I wanna definitely make sure I blow dry my hair right away. And then I will come back to show you guys the finished look. All right, so I'm back and I have finished blow drying my hair. And these are my final results. Let's take a look here. So there's definitely definition. Like you can see on this section underneath here, there's definitely very defined, um, hardly any frizz on this section. Um, kind of down here um, but up here I do have a lot of frizz especially in the top part up here um, and that may have been partially because I rushed the drying process I kind of was like impatient with the blow drying so I was fluffing it more than I usually do and manipulating my hair a little bit more um, but overall I do like these results um, you can see there is definitely definition um, there is I would call this maybe a light to medium hold there's definitely some hold but I wouldn't call this like a stronghold by any means. Um, light to medium, probably. I think this would work really well for a twist out because it does give you that bit of hold that you need for a twist out. But usually if I'm doing a twist out or braid out, I don't need like a stronghold gel or anything like that. I just need something that's gonna have enough hold to keep it in place until it dries. Um, and I think this would do just that for a twist out or braid out. It did give me really nice clumped curls as you can see my hair has kind of a stickiness to it i don't know if it's sticky i don't know if it's because it's maybe it's still a little bit damp in some areas so maybe the i'm feeling the product um in my hair but it does kind of have that kind of producty feel um to it it does feel really moisturized though um like when i'm feeling my hair and i feel like that's part of the reason why there's not a ton of hold is there is a lot of moisture and whether that was because i combined the honey hydrate with the super cream and then the mousse on top of that maybe they're all just so moisturizing in by themselves um it's just like created this super moisture <laughs> um that might be why but it's definitely really really moisturized really soft um, so I don't see this lasting very long, but it's really good for if you need a really good voluminous um, and also defined first day wash and go. Um, if you are looking, you know, you need to go to an event or something and you need that volume um, the first day and you can't really wait. Because um, usually I would get these kind of results maybe day two or three um, after having uh, slept on it a couple days and things like that. Um, so this is nice if you want that kind of on day one. You're not going to get as much definition um, or hold, but um, like this is still really decent for a wash and go. Like I'm still getting really decent hold, especially for a mousse. The only thing I think 
would be hard is stretching. Normally I stretch using the banding method. I don't know that this would hold up to that. I think I would probably have to stretch with heat if I were to stretch my hair. Um, but honestly, I kind of like the length that it's at right now, so I don't think I need to stretch it. I feel like these products kind of elongated my hair on their own. So I don't really feel like I need to stretch it. What I don't feel like is that this would stand up to humidity. Um, luckily it's winter time right now, so there's not a ton of humidity, but um, it has been raining a lot recently um, here in Maryland. So don't know that this would hold up to that. <laughs> um, honey is a humectant, so that's kind of expected. Um, it will probably not play very well in humidity, but um, I still really like this wash and go. I think these are good results um, and I will definitely use it again. Uh, let me know if you guys picked up these products during Black Friday. Um, if you're interested in them, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Um, and as always, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.